What's up, y'all? And uh, how y'all doing uh, today? Uh, this is part two of uh, the guy who, uh, you know, who who robbed me. You know, he I thought he he was a good guy, and he was looking for work. He was trying to get uh, get paid. Uh, and uh, in my surprise, you know, uh, I was uh, detarget. Like, dude, uh, you know, heard that I was uh, from America and. He wanted nothing but uh, to get that opportunity to get my stuff and run with it. And, um, you know, unfortunately for him, today he got cut. You know, they cut him. And look at him looking sad. That's him with uh, his, his hair. Like he's like touching his head and stuff. Because he's thinking like, you know, he knows he can't run. Because uh, all these people standing there, they wouldn't allow him to run. So he's here looking sad and everything, you know, knowing what he done, you know, he knows uh, what's about to happen. You know, everybody from the neighborhood, a lot of people from the neighborhood who uh, saw this, you know, they came over to, you know, to witness what was going to happen. The faith of his, uh, uh, of, of, you know, of him, like whatever was going to happen, they wanted to be, to be there. They wanted to see it. So dude right there, he's lying saying anything to get out the situation but you know the people weren't having it and you know they already knew uh, they knew he was lying and you know they wouldn't they wouldn't buy him what he was selling but um you know that's what happened you you know somebody like me uh you know come around and instead of you getting ideas you know a thing or two that i have learned from america and that i could share with you instead of you coming for that you know, I'm talking to my, my people from Africa, you know, why not, you know, get ideas, uh, you know, from us coming from, you know, from uh, America, from Europe and all that, you know, us from the diaspora. Why don't you focus uh, on, like, why don't you focus more on getting ideas from us instead of trying to, uh, to rob us, get little things that are not going to take you nowhere and that are going that you are going to be in trouble you're always going to be running always going to be looking over your shoulder for nothing when you when ideas are not like like ideas are not material you know these are like i tell you you get it and you do it you know it's ideas and and those are free those are for free instead of you doing that uh no you instead want to get you know, material, you're trying to get things that are not going to do much but draw a, a target on your back. You know, that's the, 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 the chief of the neighborhood. He came out because they had called him, you know, about the commotion, about the situation. So he, co he came over to talk to him. And, you know, y'all are going to see he's going to get, you know, he's going to get tired and uh, smack him a couple of times. Cause uh, dude was lying, like he was telling some, you know, some, some stupid lies, and the chief was like, "Yo, you, what, like, you are making fun of my, you know, you are making fun of my little, my little intelligence, like you are making fun of me, like, you know." And you know, he had to put his his, his hands up upside his head a couple of times, you know, and y'all are going to see that, you know, I I, I caught it on camera. You know, I caught it on camera because uh, the chief was just like, yo, he kept asking him some simple questions, but dude couldn't answer. You know, and that's how he knew he was lying. And he, he slapped him a couple of times, you know, um, just to remind him that, you know, he is not a fool. Like, you know, dude was getting, he was getting mad too. He's getting mad. Look, he's trying to lie. He, he was trying to lie. He was trying to say anything just to get out the situation. You know, and I told him, I told him again, I told him, I told him, yo, it would have been easy if you just did the right thing. And I said, and I told him, do the right thing and you wouldn't be in this type of situation. And if you're trying to, you, you, you know, you're trying to be, you're trying to play, you're trying to be smart, you're trying to do all that. But, you know, there are people out there that are smarter than you. You know, you did what you did and now, you know, you got cut. You know, uh, and, and, and and everybody, like, the dude is going to get tired of him. 
He but put his hands on him. Watch this. Watch this. He he but put he but like he he see that? Oh, see that? Yeah. He got tired. He, he was quick. He was quick. Yo, oh, he was quick. He was quick. Like he was, yo, he was quick. And people were like yo, let, let, he was like yo, let's take him to the police. Take him to the police. I'm tired of listening to him. So he was tired. Like he was like he was getting ready to choke him. I just did. He was getting ready to choke him because he got he got tired. It's like yo, but and I was like I was like yo, let him go. But this is like they was like nah, they not letting him go. Like he made them work. He made them run to catch him. So they not gonna let him go. Like see, it was it was fun. It was it was crazy. It was crazy. It was that like they 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 not going to let him. They not going to let him go. It was, I mean, he was, he was, he was going to say anything just to get at the situation. Like everybody came out, like all the people from the neighborhood came out. And they just didn't have to see this. Like everybody, like everybody's, you know, giving, everybody give their takes of, you know, off events and stuff. Y'all, the whole neighborhood came out. The dude was like, the chief was like, take him to the police. Take him there. And I was like, no, don't, don't take him there, yo. Y'all need to talk, talk, talk to him. Talk to sense to him. They were like, nah, he's not going to listen. There's nothing they can do, you know. He said that there's nothing they can do to, to change him. That's the way he is, that like he's a bad kid. Everybody's, everybody giving his opinion. Some people want him to get his butt whooped. Some people want to whoop him. Some people want to cook him. It was like everybody's like giving their opinion. Like in Africa, you know, it's it's legal for the population to to burn you if you if you got caught stealing. You know, it's it's legal. Like if they have proof that you know you stole something, you know, in Africa, most places in, in most countries in Africa, they will burn you. They will burn you alive. Like. You know, you better not get, uh, you know, you better not get cut stealing. So a lot of people, like some people were getting ready to burn him. Some people was getting ready to, to uh, beat him up, you know. And some people, like the, ch the chief, like, you know, he a legal person. He said, let's take him to the police. Like the chief wanted to take him to the police. He said, let's get him up there. Let's get him to, let's take him to the police. And on the way uh, to the police, uh, we are like we are gonna sit and uh, and talk things. Uh, uh. So they were taking him to the police, and then you know somebody suggested that uh, they talk to him, see how you know he could pay him. Cause now I told him, like I said, I don't want nothing from him. I gave him the opportunity, and you know in return he stole my stuff, and. I don't want nothing. I don't want nothing to do with him no more. Like you know, he did what he did, and I don't want nothing to do with him. You know, I forgave him. I just don't want to be. I just don't want him to come nowhere near me. You know, I'll never work with him again. But the people were like, Nah, we are gonna get some of the money uh, from him. So uh, they are going to make him sign some documentation that he's going to pay uh, some of the money, and these people. They are going to share that money together. You know, I don't want nothing to do with it. You know, I don't want nothing to do with it. But the people are going to share that money uh, together when he when he does that, and they 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 put him, they had put him on a payment plan that he's going to be paying X amount of money every month until he pays it all. I don't know how long that's going to take. Him. Probably going to take him a year to pay to pay it off. But that's what's going to happen. He's going to pay. Uh, half of the, he's gonna pay the money that he's asked because these people said they work hard chasing him to get to catch him, you know. So he's gotta pay up. Unfortunately for him, uh, that's the law over here. You know, the street got laws over here. You know, you know, and the police, the government got their own laws too. So the government got laws and the street got uh, laws over here. Uh, people do police themselves, you know, neighborhood, they got neighborhood, like neighborhood to police themselves over here. Uh, it's only when it's like 
out of hand or sometimes when the police intervene then the police will take over but for the most part uh, people do you know protect their own neighborhood so if you got if you got uh, arrested by the neighborhood like if the people from the neighborhood cut you uh, stealing something you would be praying for the police to come and take you away because if not you know uh, street justice is 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 is, is more painful than it's more painful uh, than uh, government uh, justice. You know, street justice is uh, you get beat up, you get burned, all that stuff. You know, you get you get burned alive. So he was shaking, like he was really scared. He was really scared because he could have died. You know, he could have died. You know, if I came over and I was like, "Yo, uh, this dude did me wrong, and I want you to to cook him," because uh. You know, I can't stand. I spent my money and I started crying. I was like, yo, he took X amount of money from me. And I lost X amount of money and the, the time, the work, all that. If I was, if I got emotional, they would have cooked them. They would have burned them. Because some people were out there getting ready to do that. Because they said that uh, they don't want people like this in the neighborhood. Because uh, people like this, people like him in the neighborhood is, is, is bad. It's bad for the neighborhood, so for the most part, yeah, people like him, you know, he will be begging for the police to come through, you know, and the 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 the, the neighborhood uh, uh, chief, he's uh, he's part of, he's a little connected with the government, so he has to do things in the legal uh, government way, like he has to ask uh, for them to take him to uh, to the police. But these guys are not having it. Uh, they were like, so they're not, they are talking. You know, they have asked me a few questions like, what do you want to do? I said, yo, like I told you before, I don't want to press no charges. I want nothing. All I want is, you know, for him to recognize that, you know, what he did was wrong. And I don't want nothing to do with him. Uh, I don't want him to ever, you know, like, I don't want me and him to ever cross paths and you know, all that stuff. I was like, that's it. I don't want nothing else. All I want is just him to recognize that what he did was wrong, and I don't want nothing to do with him no more. So yeah, that's what happened. So uh, they are talking. They want him to sign uh, to sign some documentation that he's going to be uh, paying X amount of money every month, and he's going to do that. And if he done, they are going to catch him again. And next time they do catch him, oh, uh, I don't want to be him. Because next time he gets caught, oh, he's going to be in, in a lot of hurts. And I don't think he wants that. Yo, I want y'all to help me, really. I really want you to help me uh, build this chicken house. I'm telling you, uh, this is the key of me uh, uh, blowing and becoming big. Yo, I'm, I'm, I swear to God, if y'all help me uh, jumpstart my chicken business, I'm telling you, like, I'm going to be big. Like, I'm going to be... I'm going to be good enough to help uh, people out too. You no, know, there's a lot of people out on on. They, they, I got a lot of subscribers who are hurting, and I'm telling you, if I could get this off the ground, I will be able to, you know, uh, put people on too. You know, and I want that. You know, I want to be able to, you know, get people to leave America, come over here, and be good. If once I get this thing going. You know, if I if I once I get it going, you know, I would have enough to you know to host people to uh to to encourage people to to leave America, come over here and join me in working together. You know, there's, there's a lot of our people that are homeless and stuff like that who would use this opportunity when the time comes. So all I need you is to help me. I'm only asking for fifteen hundred uh, dollars. I get I'm getting like a hundred views uh, per uh, per video that I post. So if everybody who watches this video donated five dollars, five dollars, yo, only five dollars, you know, we wouldn't be like we'll be reaching the goal in no time. You know, if every video that is watched, if if everybody gave one dollar on every video that I post after ten after fifteen video. We will be, we will have reached the goal. So really, like I'm looking forward for y'all helping me. You know, so far we got nothing, but I know something is gonna come, and I'm looking forward to it. Like, share, 
subscribe and like I said help me out help me out because uh, if I if I'm up I'm gonna bring somebody else with me